Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Uncle Tom with buymeaniphone.com. How are you guys doing? Today we're gonna to be taking a look at FOSS4 Watches World Time Watch. Um, here we are at the website. I'd like to thank FOSS4 really quick before we get started for sending me one of these out for review. I really do appreciate it. And this is the model we're gonna be looking at today. We're gonna to be looking at the World Time. It is a Curve E-Ink display, 9.3 millimeters thin, world timekeeping it has all 24 hour time zones built into it and you can uh, simultaneously display time from two different time zones and it has five user selectable display modes um, so it is really a really nice watch so if we go over here to the watches section you can see they do have several different models they have the world time watch that we're going to be looking at today as well as the digital hour watch which also looks really, really neat. A little bit smaller uh, than the World Time, but World Time is a very nice watch, and it does retail for $149, $150, as I'll be reviewing it right here, right here, with the uh, polyurethane band. So without further ado, that's the website. Let's cruise over to the close-up camera, and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like, all right? Okay, cool beans guys, here we are at the close-up camera taking a look at the FOSS4 World Time Watch. Here's how it'll look when it arrives. Actually, when it arrives, it'll have this cardboard band, uh, box around it to protect it, like so. This is how it'll look when it arrives. And you simply slide that off, and here is your watch box. Uh, nothing super fancy, classy little black box, a little bit padded on the top. Pretty nice watch box. It's a little bit something, uh, something a little bit different for me. I'm not really used to reviewing watches. I'm not really a big watch guy, but uh, FOSS4 was nice enough to send this out to me for review. And this is kind of a techy, geeky kind of thing, kind of an e-ink watch. It was a little different than your standard LCD watch. For those of you who aren't familiar with what e-ink is, um, it's electronic ink, similar to the Amazon Kindle or the Nook, the Barnes & Noble Nook um, e-ink display on this watch, which is kind of cool and kind of different. So you simply open it up and inside there is your watch. And here in the top part are your instructions on how to set up your watch and use it and so on and so forth. Nicely tucked away in the top there. Slide those back in. And here is your watch. It comes on your little artificial wrist and uh, simply pop it off of the uh, padded artificial wrist here. I like to call it the artificial wrist. I don't know why, but you know, it's just, it's its own thing. And there you go. Here is your Phosphor World Time Watch. This is how it'll come. This is your first standard display. As you can see right now, it is Thursday, January the 6th at 2.54 p.m. 14.54 military time, obviously. It's 2.55 p.m. Um, this does have five different user selectable display modes, as I mentioned in the intro. And to cycle th through them, you simply use the right button. And uh, I know this looks like one button, but it's actually two buttons, the uh, left and right side. To cycle through the display modes, simply press the uh, tap the right side once, and you will switch and it'll refresh to the big time, they call it. And then simply click it again, and then you have the small time. Click it again, and here is your pro, uh, 24 uh, different programmable um, time zones. Um, if you happen to do a lot of traveling or something, say you're over in London, England, perhaps, and uh, you need to know what time it is in London, England, or you have family there, so on and so forth. You know, there's lots of reasons for wanting a watch with multiple time zone settings on it. So um, here in London, you can see it is 7.56 p.m. over in London right now. If you happen to be over in London and you want to know what time it is at home at the same time as what time it is there in London, there you go. There's your fifth setting. Tells you what time it is in that time zone as well as in the center here what time it is at home. Very cool. Um, that, those are pretty much all of your display functions. Tap it again and you're back here to your main screen. Um, you can also... Reverse the colors on the home screen as well and have it white on black instead of black on white. I'm not sure which one I really prefer. I tend to alternate back and forth between the two of them. 
I'll use it while black on white for a little while, and then I'll get bored with it, and I'll switch it to black uh, to white on black. You know, um, it's nice to be able to change things up a little bit, cause so you don't get bored of the same thing all the time. So we'll switch it back on to black on white. There you go. And as you can see, the watch is really nice quality. It is quite thin, um, all stainless steel face, the face, as well as the back of the watch is 100% stainless steel. As you can see, they're all stainless steel, case back, with the FOS4 logo. And then here down on the bottom, you can see it is water resistant to 50 meters. If my camera will pick that up. There you go, 50 meters water resistant. Cool beans. And uh, the only other, uh, there are really two negatives I found to this watch. Um, it also has a good weight to it. It's a nice weighty watch. It's not gonna feel too heavy but it does have a good solid weight to it. You know you're getting a good quality product here because it does have a good weight to it with that all stainless steel construction. The only two bad things I was really able to, uh, to think of with this one, and they're, they're nitpicking, they're certainly um, nothing horrible, um, is the band isn't replaceable. You can't, you know, it's not user replaceable on your own. So if, you, if you're happy with the polyurethane band that's $150, go ahead and order that or um, you know, if you want the leather band or the stainless steel band, make sure you get the band you want right off the start because you're going to have to pay to have it shipped back and uh, replace the band if you need to. So uh, make sure you pick the one you want right off the bat. Um, I've been very happy with the polyurethane band. I've used this watch for several weeks now. And uh, as you can see, it's not showing any signs of wear and tear, anything like that. It doesn't even really have a notch built into the uh, into the band yet. It seems to be very, very strong, very durable, and uh, I have had no issues with it whatsoever. The only other problem I was able to find with it is it's not backlit. Not being, a, uh, being an e-ink display and not an LCD display, it doesn't have a backlight. So, you know, if you're trying to tell the time in the dark, you don't have a light. So you, you're not gonna be able to see it at all, really, in the dark. Um, unless you happen to have a flashlight or something, you could shine on it to read it you're not going to be able to tell the time in the dark. Those are the only two negative things I was really able to find about this watch. Other than that, I really like it. It's a great watch. I'll throw it on my wrist here real quick so you guys can get a size, you know, get an idea of the size of it. I have fairly small wrists for a man. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not a big wristed dude and uh, it still works just fine for me. Even with my fairly small wrists, it still works quite well. So um, if you happen to have larger wrists, It'll work great that way too. I still have plenty of room there. You know, so if you had a larger wrist, it would work quite well as well. So that's pretty much gonna do it for my review on the Phosphor World Time Watch, guys. Thanks again to Phosphor for sending it out to me for review. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you head over to buymeaniphone.com, check out all our other reviews over there, and uh, you know, follow us on Twitter and Facebook, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Cool beans, rock on.